Well, hello. Let's start with um, the floral squares card. Okay, so these are the pieces and parts you will have in your envelope. Um, actually, Leanne, I may have forgotten those. Just realizing that now. So let's start with putting the Bermuda Bay strip right along this edge. I think I just was able to do that. And I'm going to actually use my grid paper, line this up right here. And go in kind of like that. That should be pretty good. There. And there was a little glue left over, so I just got rid of that. And then this piece goes in the inside like this okay. so there that's what and if you have any hanging over just trim it with your snips some you would think all paper cutters would, you know, like four and a quarter would be four and a quarter on all paper trimmers. Well, it's not exactly. So just take that tiny bit off. There. Okay. There we go. All right. So that's how that should look to start with. Okay. Then what you have is your little one for stamping on. Okay. So I'll just stamp the happy B day. Like that. this will go flat and then the whole layer will get bumped up but we won't organize that until we have the rest done okay so then we're going to start putting these together so these are the floral squares um, they get cut from the floral squares dies and in my original I had them looking like this okay and so I would suggest a liquid glue right and probably a silicone craft sheet and just a little this is coming out a little more clear I mixed some of the my old fine tip glue pen in here and maybe it didn't mix as well as I thought it was going to. So we're just going to get a little of that on there. Okay. And then I'm going to keep putting that pin right back in. These are ones I got, I think at a stamp show or something. Um, because um, the container that the Tombow comes in doesn't always um, go real um, as fine 
as I would like it to. And again, if this is not exact, just give it a little trim. Won't be a problem. Okay, there you go. All right, let's get these next couple done. So we're just gonna go around the edge a little bit. Here comes some of that other glue. There, so I'll just press that, and we have one more to do. Okay, so you're just gonna add that glue a little bit. It's kind of bubbly because I shook it a lot, trying to mix it. <laughs> So you can get these, it, they're made by Doris, I think, is the, people that make these tiny, these ones with the tiny, tiny tips. And I would just transfer some of your Tombow into one, or your favorite liquid glue, like that. Just to, you just don't want it oozing everywhere. that turn it over give it a good press like that oops I have other ones over there there okay okay now we'll add the extra flowers and um, I will have to send these to you again. I'll pop them in the mail. Okay, because I think I forgot that part. So then you just match them up. And again, you actually might want to use your liquid glue. Okay, a little tiny bit. Oops. Like that. over the top. Kind of disguises that big hole. <laughs> that big center. Okay. And let's see what's going to fit where. Um, big one fits up here. over here. Okay. This one takes a little finagling. So sometimes it's good to kind of dry fit everything before you get 
too crazy with the liquid glue. All right, so now all of that is ready and um, to go on to the card front. So then you're just going to decide how you want these. Now originally I had mine kind of looking like this. Whoops. Looks like I need to do a little more trimming. Like that. With this one up on dimensionals. But you are certainly welcome to mix and match. And for this one I may actually switch these around like this. So add this one over here and then I should have room to do this one here. And I'm trying to get the spacing um, between the them uh, as even as I can. Okay. And we'll add some dimensionals for this one. Like that. should have gone down just a little farther apparently so that's okay we'll just finish that up all right so there you go all right on to the next one